Karibu. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to Salt of the Earth channel. And we're so excited to just update everyone as to what we've been doing on this particular travel, this particular mission. Just to, um, just to remind you, if you're tuning in, please make sure you're subscribed so you get our new videos that we'll be posting on our journeys. And also leave us a comment. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you're going through and how you can relate to some of the things that we're sharing. We want to hear about your travels. We want maybe some tips or advice as we're going to be in different places and things that we might want to check out. And just, yeah, comment. So let's make it... Um a community as uh, you listening and you can be a part of what we are doing and you can give us uh, tips for our next trips and you know maybe things that we can be uh, looking for even on this trip yeah uh, so just to recap a little bit about the trip uh, we left uh, Baltimore to go to London and from London we crossed over with a ferry overnight to Rotterdam and then came back to London and now we came into Uganda and as we arrived in Uganda we started with Entebbe that's a town near the airport mm -hmm. and now we here in Kampala two different places I mean we had a very different um, feel a very different experience being in Entebbe and now you know um, Kampala that's the big city with uh, you know millions of people and uh, uh, but it's been good it's been good the people of Uganda have been very welcoming very nice uh, very sweet people uh, it's 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 been very good yeah and so far on this trip you know, as Jean was stating, all the different places we've been to, we have not stayed more than two nights in any one place, in any one location. So it has been a whirlwind of a journey, but it has been good. It has been amazing. We've seen God's hand and God's guidance and provision and um, just giving us opportunities to, to share his love with people around us as we've traveled in so many ways in so many places last night we were in a church that was in Mutondo I believe which is like a suburb of Kampala and um, it was filled with with pastors leaders from the from that area and as I walked in there I just sensed God's presence so much but I realized as I walked in there that all along this trip whether we've been on the subway or in the tavern in London or in the airports, we have sensed God's presence with us. And it's just been amazing. You know, I think about Psalm 91, where it says that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I feel like, you know, we've been traveling. We haven't been home, quote unquote, in our own shelter, but we've been in God's shelter. In his presence, you know, there is protection. And there is provision and you can feel at home wherever you go and i really feel like we've been experiencing that that's correct it's it's been just awesome because sometimes you go from place to places and um, when you look at it you just see different people and you see different attitudes different yeah. reactions to things mm -hmm. different people that are sensitive to things that you won't be sensitive to and and things like that mm. but Throughout the whole time, you just feel like even in that moment, God is with you and gives you joy. He gives you, he gives you peace and he gives you the, the, the willingness to just cross over and see something new and experience something new. So it's, it's been just very good. Like our last leg into London, mm -hmm. we did not have any plan. We did not know what we were doing. Uh, first, we we came uh, thinking we were arrived in London, I mean, in, in UK, uh, at a specific time, around 8 or something like that, and we arrived there two hours earlier. So we had to find what are we going to do for two hours in a station that is not, you know, the, the, there was nothing in that mm. station. 
And from that moment, mm -hmm. we had just to go one thing after the other, knowing that God is the one who takes us and not our plans, not what we have, you know, our expectations or anything like that. And when we were getting into the airplane, mm -hmm. I just felt so much that we have achieved a lot. We were able to go to so many places and we were so blessed by what happened mm. in a time that, you know, nothing was really planned. So God had us under his wings. It was just such a wonderful thing. Yeah. And as you mentioned, the stop at the ferry stop while we were waiting for the train, we had the two hour delay. Um, and, you know, I was tempted to just kind of lay there. And, you know, it's, it's tiring traveling like we're traveling. So every time you get a chance, mm -hmm. you try to take a quick nap. You try to take a quick siesta, rest. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? I need to get up. I need to move my legs. Otherwise, I'm going to be suffering from jet lag and mm -hmm. we're going to be flying soon. So it's really good to stretch your legs when you can. Um, so I decided to take a walk. So Jean stayed with the luggage at the train station and I just got out and walked. And I just took a walking trail. And... It was wonderful just to see, you know, just regular life, kids going to school. It was it was like at eight o'clock in the morning when everyone's going to work, everyone's going to school. So I saw the buses going by. It was raining, of course. We were in back in the UK, so <laughs> it was raining. Um, Harwich is the, t the name of the town, but it was a small town, small sleepy port side town. Um, but it was just wonderful to get out, greet people. Everyone was greeting each other in the streets and um, just to be a part of that everyday life. It was really neat. And it was a good time for me, just one-on-one -on -one with the Lord and having a prayer walk. It was good. So we just want to encourage you to know first that God cares about you. Yes. And that he will keep you no matter where you are and the places that you go to. Mm -hmm. Have that assurance. Maybe you don't have the chance, you won't have the opportunity to mm -hmm. go in Europe and other places. Just being in your town, it could you could be going through similar challenges and similar things. And just having that uh, uh, assurance and that promise that God got you. He will take care of you in every step of whatever you have to do. So we thank you very much for... I just have one more story I want to add. And that is last night as we were um, coming back from the place where we went, Mutondo, um, where Jean had a chance to speak, we invited our cab driver, our taxi driver, had taken us out there. And it was quite a ways from the main city, Kampala. And so we invited him into the church service where we were and to invited him in to hear the word. And so he sat in and heard the word. And afterwards, when we got back in the cab, I was talking to him and asking him, you know, if it had been a while since he went to church. And um, he was just sharing how yeah, he goes to church often. And so we were just talking about God and how good his word is and how it's good to, to be encouraged in the word and get in the house of the Lord. And um, it was just a nice moment of encouraging one another in our faith. And so we can we can take those moments wherever we go, whether we're in a taxi cab, whether we're in the subway station, the airplane, the restaurant. Um, Jesus is everywhere. God is everywhere. So his spirit goes with us wherever we go. And we want to bring him to the world to be that salt of the earth that we speak of. All right. Yeah. That's so good. we just encourage you and remind you that you were created to be the salt of the earth. Bless you.